Hi, this is Selina. I'm an application specialist in IBM technology. Today, I will briefly introduce our technology and applicational examples of various organ imaging for immune research in vivo using IBM products. Firstly, I'd like to introduce IBM's intravital microscopy to observe live tissue and cells in live animals. While X-ray, CT, and MRI imaging technology provide only static and tissue level information in a living object, intravital microscopy can provide a detailed live cell level video of disease development as illustrated in this example video. Intravital microscopy is an extremely powerful tool that enables in imaging several biological processes in live animals in a long-term manner. Conventionally, for intravital experiments, users have to prepare the each required functions by themselves. There was a high degree of technical difficulty and non-optimized performance with limited applications to uh, imaging interest organs. It was very difficult and it's not an optimal solution with low performance without any standardized in vivo protocols. Our all-in-one intravital confocal and tifotan microscopy system is fully optimized for intravital live cell imaging. IVIM is the world's first and only one company providing a new all-in-one system with the best intravital imaging performance. We provide various accessories for wide range intravital applications with strong technical support for various field applications. All in one single box package enables easy installation, operation, and maintenance. It has co optimized hardware and software for superb intravital imaging performance with ultra fast imaging speed and no limitation in imaging various internal organs. Together with live tissue motion compensation function, you can get the best quality in vivo data. With ultra-fast video rate up to 100 frames per second, thereby we can even capture the fast dynamics such as red blood cells uh, that are flowing inside of the blood vessels. We can get four-color confocal and two-photon imaging with sub-micron resolution which finally enables real-time visualization of live cell dynamics such as microcirculation and cellular physiology in vivo. IVIM's intravital microscopy is to observe live tissue and cells in live animal, which enables 3D cellular level microscopic imaging and an analysis in vivo. Our all-in-one intravital confocal and two-photon microscopy system is fully optimized for intravital live cell imaging, such as real-time cell trafficking, cell-to-cell -cell interaction, and cell-to-microenvironment interaction inside of the living body. Furthermore, it can be widely applied to the therapeutic research fields, investigating drug delivery to the target tissue, drug efficacy and therapeutic mode of action in various preclinical mouse models of human disease. Here's one example of in vivo palmolithia lymph node imaging. We adaptively transferred T cell and B cells, which were obtained from actin DS red and actin GFP transgenic mice and we monitor the cellular extravasation dynamics of the T and B cells in high endothelial venue of the lymph node in real time. Here, T and B cells are selectively extravasated through the specific sites of the HEV. For intravital lung imaging, as you already know, uh, when we make an incision on the rib, the air pressure will be changed and thereby killing the mouse. So we need to make mouse breathe again by intubation, which will be connected to the ventilator. Together with lung imaging window chamber for stable visualization, we can acquire a clear video of neutrophil dynamics in pulmonary vasculature after sepsis induction by injecting FPS. 
send neutro uh, permanent neutrophils migrated to the specific sites and block the microcirculation of the lung blood vessels. This is in vivo time-lapse movie of neutrophil infiltration in pulmonary microcirculation. Also, we can measure the blood flow in a real-time movie of RBC flow, and we analyze the differences of the vascular area-specific velocity in pulmonary microcirculation of LPS-treated mouse model. For the application, we have a lot of examples according to the interest organs. Here are some examples of in vivo imaging in various organs such as lung, bone marrow, and skin visualizing inflammatory responses. So I will explain the details in the following slides. In terms of tumor, IBM system can be applied to the cancer xenograft model investigating T cell interaction with tumor cells in vivo. And a cancer metastasis model visualizing circulating tumor cells flowing through the blood vessels. We can perform imaging analysis of the in vivo drug delivery effects to the tumor tissue. IVM's intravital microscopy has succeeded in a high quality live cell imaging in almost all of internal organs in a live mouse model, as you can see in this slide. It includes brain, brain tumor, skin, lung, pancreas, spleen, GI tracts, prostate, lymph node, memory tissue, placenta, kidney, liver, muscle, heart, and even retina imaging in vivo. IBM technology provides all-in-one intravital confocal and two-photon microscopic system, which is IBM-C, IBM-M, CM, MS-2, CMS, and customized system. C is the confocal-only model, M is the multi-photon only, but with wavelength tunable laser, and CM is the most uh, combined model of the confocal and two-photon microscopy. IBM MS is the most compact and simple version of two photon with 920 nanometer wavelength fixed laser module. Customized system is fully optimized for various research purposes, including large animal imaging, retina imaging, endomicroscopy, rotating objective system for brain imaging, and so on. In addition, IBM also provides one stop total research service of intravital imaging for the researchers in academia and the therapeutic industry. Confocal system enables high resolution optical sectioning with ultra fast frame rate by using polygon scanner. Thereby, we can acquire the high quality of real time movie and multicolor intravital imaging of the live tissue. Finally, with these technical innovations, IBM's all-in-one intravital microscopy system is capable of high-quality subcellular resolution 3D imaging of in vivo tissue. This particular example is obtained from inguinal adipose tissue of live mouse model by using confocal model IBM-C, which clearly shows green adipocyte and red blood vessels in 3D. Two-photon microscopy enables point excitation, then we can get the high-resolution optical sectioning imaging with deep imaging depth with long wavelength near-infrared pulse laser source. We can acquire the clear images with minimized photofilitzing and reduced phototoxicity to the live tissue. In addition, by second harmonic generation, we can detect skeletal muscle structures without additional labeling. This is wide area image we obtained from skeletal muscle of the live mouse model by using two photon model IBM-CM, which clearly shows blood vessels in blue and nerves in green. Now let me zoom into this area. In this, 
single field of view image, now you can clearly see the red sarcomeres in myocyte with second harmonic generation signals without additional labeling and green neuromuscular junction and blue capillaries in tomographic manner. It is more, more easier to see the whole cellular level distribution in this maximum intensity projection image. I'd like to briefly introduce key technical features of IBIM's product. First of all, all of IBIM's all-in-one intravital microscopy system is equipped with ultra-fast laser scanner, polygon scanning system, which enables the ultra-high speed in vivo imaging at maximum speed of 100 frames per second with 512 by 512 pixels. Also, it could achieve uniform excitation illumination over the entire imaging field of view. Thereby, we can acquire the high quality image and videos at ultra fast frame rate in real time. This is very important to obtain high quality in vivo image from live animals by compensating the tissue motion compensation, uh, by compensating the tissue motion artifact. Otherwise, other competitors usually have Garbano scanning system, which only can get on uniformed uh, excitation due to the unstable scanning speed of resonance scanner over the entire uh, imaging field. Also with limited scanning, uh, scanning speed. In addition to ultra-fast imaging, IVIM's intravital microscopy system is fully integrated with animal motion compensation function, which is compensating the motion artifact of live animal model. It, it enables an automatic hassle-free, high-precision motion compensation imaging by facilitating frame-by-frame -frame motion compensation. By GPU-assisted algorithm processing, we guarantee you to get the clear imaging result of various tissues. It has a synerg synergetic effect together with ultra-fast scanning frame rate. In this side-by-side -side comparison, um, this is a movie of kidney, we can see the clear changes before and after applying the function. It is very clear that the high quality in vivo imaging needs this kind of motion compensation function. Without motion compensation, only this blurred image can be obtained due to the motion artifact, which disturbs the quantitative cellular analysis of imaging data. This is another example of heart imaging. Even though raw imaging data has high degree of movement, by applying motion compensation function, we can acquire the high quality of clear image without any shifting artifact. Please note that a conventional standalone microscopy only can acquire those kind of shifted images like in the middle from the same live mouse model. This is the video actually working in the studio software. Just one click for selecting reference channel for the compensation and activate the motion compensation button and click capture then we can directly get compensated result in the display window right away. We are also providing various additional accessories for maintaining a healthy condition of live mouse model during in vivo experiment. Here, we have rectal proof sensor for mouse body core temperature, which are feedback system with the heating plate maintaining a stable body temperature throughout the experiments. Also, we provide glass heater for local tissue temperature maintenance of imaging organ or tissue. So if you need to move an organ slightly out of the body to image, then this te uh, tissue temperature heater with integrated cover slip that comes in contact to the tissue and it maintains the local tissue temperature. This is a translational stage for mounting the mouse model. Every accessories are connected to the connector in the left, and we can slide in and out of the stage before and after mounting. 
Also, all of IBM's intravita microscopy has its own operating and post-processing software. The name is IBM Engine and IBM Studio. With IBM Studio, we can visualize the structure of cancer metastasis lymph node upon the imaging depths, including GFP expressing cancer cell, red blood vessel, and blue lymphatic structures. Or we can perform cross-sectional analysis of the cell nucleus and vasculature structures in the villi of the small intestine. And we determine the co-localization of each cells in 3D. The following is the body data we acquired by 3D imaging of ear skin over time. For the analysis of the cell dynamics and cross-sectional localization analysis are available in real time using studio software. With measurement function, quantitative analysis of vessel dilation before and after drug treatment, immune cell trafficking, cell-to-cell -cell distance, and cell-to-cell -cell contacts can be performed in studio software. In addition, for the quantitative analysis of immune cell movement, cellular speed, direction, cell-to-cell -cell distance, and the number of contacts over time can be performed in 4D in studio software. For intravital longitudinal monitoring, we utilize the imaging windows such as dorsal skin fold chamber for cancer or drug candidate in vivo analysis, cranial imaging window for brain imaging, and abdominal imaging window for internal organs. For longitudinal in vivo imaging of mouse brain, we can utilize cranial imaging window to visualize cerebral cortex. Firstly, make a scalp incision. Remove peristome with the sterile ear tips. Scrub the surface on the skull and make a circular groove in the skull with drill and remove the excised bone flap. Then, after removal of the excised bone flap, cover with the cover glass, apply UV crabber adhesive to nearly dry scar and seal the optical window with dental cement, covering all the exposed scar. Place the mouse model on the heating stage, adjust the focal distance. When we look up the imaging window software, actually this model is IBM CM. Both confocal and two-photon microscopy are combined in one system. This time, we select the confocal mode here. And for selecting the directory file to save the acquired data, then click cell folder and set the directory file. In the note, we can set file name to be created following the numbering. We set the file name as brain, like this. And then we start playing scanner for acquiring image with 1024 pixels each. Then turn on the laser power of each four channels and each four detectors with master controller. Then laser shutter on for initiating the excitation. Yeah, after turn on each detector. Then we turn on the laser shutter for initiating the excitation like this. Then we slightly lower the stage in Z axis using stage controller until we find the focal signal in the display. In a live window, we can see the real-time fast dynamic movie of red blood cells flowing in the blood vasculatures in cerebral cortex. Then we increase the averaging frame. When we capture this, then we can get the result image on the image display window in the right. Then for acquiring more detailed fast cell dynamics, lower the averaging rate to three. Then we'll record the real time movie for three seconds.
we can get the recording of the three seconds movie, then searching for the other interest area in the cerebral cortex, which has a beautiful spatial information in that axis. There's a complex vasculature structures in blood brain barrier. And we can acquire the ZSTAC movie in real time. So for ZSTAC imaging, we set the top and bottom position in ZSTAC imaging mode as below. And we set the top and set the bottom like this. And then we set the Z interval as 5 micrometer. Then the total number of images will be automatically calculated. Then click and activate this ZSTAC imaging mode and check the remaining time for the imaging. Then we start by clicking capturing. Then we can acquire the high quality of ZSTAC image data. In total, 19 image sequences over 5 micrometer interval in real time. Then we can see the beautiful spatial information of cerebral cortex in that axis in real time in a live mouse model. Then uh, now we are acquiring the raw data of the cerebral cortex images in the live mouse brain tissue like this. So we got 19 image sequences of the ZSTAC imaging mode. After finishing acquiring data, by utilizing iBeam Studio software, uh, image processing and quantitative analysis can be performed at the same time. Open the directory folder of the acquired data, then every data sets are presented. Select the ZSTAC data and open and we can also play the ZSTAC sequences in the display like this. So we confirm that all sequences of the ZSTAC images and uh, for the processing, move to the post-processing tab and create, create the Z projection images here. Also, you can look up the other data set acquired, such as recorded movie and single snapshots. And for 3D analysis, move to 3D tab on the top. And uh, we can add the directory data folder. Select the ZStack data and show. Then we can get the 3D reconstructed data in the display, make a freehand rota rotation. And in 3D view tab, also uh, rotating in three axes is available. In sliced viewer, and when we click the sliced viewer, then we can get the cross-sectional data along every x, y, y, z, x, z axis. and going back to the original position by clicking Reset. Here's the result of the intravital brain imaging acquired by iBeam's intravital microscopy. We can get the high quality cell level images of blood brain barrier visualizing astrocyte, pericyte, and smooth muscle cell and the vessels in the cerebral cortex. In a wide view, we can also get the wide area mosaic images of amyloid plaque accumulation in Alzheimer's disease mouse model in vivo. In addition, 3D cell level visualization of neuronal circuits in intact brain enables with deep brain imaging. Also visualize the neuroinflammation in 3D and analyze the size, 
volume or the number of each cells or molecules in infected area in a quantitative basis. Deep brain imaging with 3D cellular analysis and wide area deep tissue imaging can provide the spatiotemporal information of various cellular and molecular level dynamics such as neuronal circuits, BBB integrity, and neuroinflammation responses in the brain. This is an example of intravital imaging research of brain neuroinflammatory responses performed with IBM system. Neuroinflammatory responses are induced by 3NP chemical injection. Then after induction, lysem JPP expressing leukocytes are densely located to the specific sites over time, showing a dynamic redistribution of lysem positive cells. Magnified longitudinal images of the 3NP group showing a dynamic redistribution of lysine-positive cells to the specific size in the cerebral cortex. Also, from time-lapse imaging, we could visualize and analyze the mindering and crawling behavior of lysine-positive neutrophils in the brain of neuroinflammation mouse model. In addition, to observe longitudinal changes in lysine positive cell infiltration and vascular integrity of the BBB in the cerebral cortex, we performed a 4D analysis by repetitive Z stack imaging in the brain over time to analyze the vascular leakages indi indicating a BBB integrity. We did intravenous injection of the advanced blue and visualized the blood vessels and monitor the vascular permeability in a repetitive manner over time in 3D. In a control model, there was no identifiable changes in vascular morphology and permeability until day 30. However, in the neuroinflammation mouse model, vascular leakages were observed in the parenchyma of the cerebral cortex from 14 to day 21, suggesting a persistent compromised BBB integrity. At day 30, uh, numerous lysine-positive cells had infiltrated to the same area with vascular leakages, suggesting in vivo progression of a BBB dysfunction to severe neuroinflammation during one month. Finally, longitudinal in vivo imaging of cranial imaging window implanted model can be a useful approach to investigate underlying cell mechanism of the BBB dysfunction and neuroinflammation in neurodegenerative disease in vivo. To investigate cellular level alteration following microinfarction, we performed a longitudinal repetitive intravital imaging of the cerebral cortex for 30 days after the induction of phototrombosis in a live mouse model implanted with the cranial imaging window. By utilizing a double transgenic mouse by crossbreeding a parasite reporter NG2 DS red mouse and an astrocyte reporter LDH1L1GFP trans transcending mouse together, and we can simultaneously visualize astrocyte and parasite composing the neurovascular unit. In the microinfarction model, acute tissue expansion followed by gradual tissue shrinkage was observed. A vascular map showed that the acute 1.5-fold expansion of the brain tissue indicating a severe edema for one to two days followed by a gradual shrinkage at five to eight days and then a significant 50% reduction of the brain tissue, which is indicating a focal brain atrophy for two to four weeks. To observe the cell level dynamics in the recovery of the parasite coverage, a time-lapse intravital imaging of NG2 positive parasite expressing histone GFP in their nuclei 
was performed for 24 hours starting from three days after the microinfarction induction. Proliferation of the NG2 positive parasite and processes in elongation and along the vessels were clearly visualized, suggesting that both processes contributed to the recovery of the parasite coverage from day three to day five after microinfarction induction. To examine an impairment in cerebral vascular perfusion and the liquid following a microinfarction, a longitudinal in vivo imaging of blood flow at the same cortex area in a single mouse was performed for five days in a peri-infarct after the microinfarction induction. The blood flow was visualized by intravenously injected different size of the dyes, including 2 millidarton FITC dextran and 3 kilodarton TriTC dextran at day 0, 3, and 5. At day 3, only a linkage, leakage of the small size of the dye, 3 kilodalton TriTC dextran was observed, suggesting a compromised VBB integrity in a peri infarct causing an edema. Interestingly, the vascular leakage of the 3 kilodalton TriTC dextran was not observed at day 5, suggesting an acute impairment and the partial recovery of the vascular flow and leakage after the microinfarction induction. Intravital BBB integrity can be analyzed in various ways, investigating immune cell dynamics such as microglial cell and leukocyte movement over time. Also visualizing astrocyte, pericyte, and vascular structure in cerebral cortex. Applying to the brain tumor model, we implanted the glioma cell in the brain and monitor the development and the cell dynamics of glioma tumor cells along with vascular networks in brain over time. Furthermore, intravital brain imaging technique can be applied to the therapeutic research area investigating drug delivery to the target brain tissue. Drug efficacy and therapeutic mode of action can be analyzed by visualizing immune cell dynamics, cellular uptake, and vascular changes in the brain of various preclinical mouse model of human brain disease mouse model. IVIM technology has many experimental in vivo research experiences throughout almost all organs in live mouse model without any restriction of the imaging organs. To summarize, IVIM technology is a total solution provider of intravital microscopy technology. IVIM is providing a unique all-in-one intravital microscopy with strong applicational support and high-quality intravital imaging research service for pharmaceutical R&Ds. And we have lots of intravital research publications by using our IVIM system, categorized by imaging organ and imaging purposes, such as red, red blood cell flow analysis, in vivo validation of drug and cell delivery. IVIM technology also provides one-stop total solution of intravital imaging research service starting from the customer consulting to achieve the research goal by in vivo live cell imaging. IVIM performs test imaging to optimize the imaging plan and provide quotation. Then IVIM perform whole intravital imaging research, creating animal models, imaging of various organs, and finally image processing and analysis and provide final research report. This is the exemplary project I've been performed. In this work, I've been visualized the intravital delivery of axism to the target cells in sepsis animal model. As you can see in this imaging result, the injected axism arrived to the target cell only after 10 minutes, then became internalized after 30 minutes. 
Thereby, if you have any question, according to intravital experiment of your interest organ or the tissue in your mouse model, please feel free to contact us. Then we can fully support you for the best intravital data. If you have interest in intravital microscopy, please ask for full product and service catalog by email or visit our website for more information. Thanks for your attention and thanks for having me today. Thank you.